गाइज वॉट्स आप दिस इज यूनिक गेम आर राजो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी जस्ट हेल्पिंग यू गाइज द वे हाउ टू रेड्यूज द बैकग्राउंड नॉइज कैंसलाइजेशन फॉर द एलगाडो गेम कैप्चर कार्ड वाइल्ड स्ट्रीमिंग बाय डिफॉल्ट इट डजेंट हैव एनी नॉइज गेट और समथिंग लाइक दैट दैट विच रेड्यूज द बैकग्राउंड नॉइज फ्रॉम द लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग ओ बी एस डू हैव एंड एक्सप्लेट ऑल्सो डू हैव बट द एलगाडो गेम कैप्चर कार्ड डजेंट हैव अ नॉइज गेट सो आई सजेस्ट regard of game game capture team members to do it as soon as possible why because everyone will move away from the software to obs or exploit and uh, i just found a solution for this uh, for the background noise cancelization as you people can see that uh, my live commentary output is from cable output vb audio virtual cable <clears throat> so how this came i'll be you just need to download the two files so just open the browser the first thing first you just need to open the page vb audio this thing virtual audio page and uh, i'll just provide the links in the description also you can please check cross check later so just drag it uh, in the center and <coughs> and over there you can see this uh, vb audio cable you can see this vb audio cable just click on that and just drag your mouse down as you drag your mouse down in the center you can see on the left side there's a download button over here there's a download button over here just click over here to download and then after <coughs> you just need to download this file and after that the second file is the noise gator just open up the source just type in google something like that noise gator or noise gate it will directly take you to that source and uh, you just need to <coughs> redirect to this page and just click download this one so after downloading these two files i'll just show you the procedure <coughs> i'll just show you procedure guys so by default noise gator is a java based application so it can open up directly i'll just show you i've already opened that noise gate so there here see after opening the noise gate you can see that input output so in the input source you just need to insert the whatever microphone you are using for the audio i mean like i'm using the blue yeti microphone for my uh, recording something like the audio recording so i kept it like blue yeti microphone so this is the source so output must be strictly this one vb audio virtual cable why because this eliminates the background noise of the input and uh, this comes as the input source for you so this should be the option this one and just copy this all these three settings uh, threshold is 5 attack time 5 and release time is 10 and as you can see i'm talking it's everything is getting pop up over here 16 3 this i mean like it's closed means uh, noise is getting reduction over there so that is the one so after that volume boost i kept it like minus 5 and these are the settings in the noise gator so you just need to put it like this only and after that uh, you also downloaded the uh, virtual audio cable so is a winrar file so already downloaded to a new folder it's a winrar file just right click on that extract here so already extracted files over here just open up and uh, in the center you can see the two files vb cable setup and vb cable setup x64 normal setup is for 32 bit windows and uh, 64x is like for 64 bit so if at all uh, your system is 32 or 64 it depends upon you that for the installation and after that after installing that uh, vb cable does not have any have a desktop icon or something like that it pop ups over here in the speaker volume just right click over here recording devices or sounds anything like that i'll just show you the my recording devices is like uh, you can see the microphone on the top and the fifth option is the cable output this is a vb audio so i'll just show you the settings of that and as you guys can see that uh, my audio is coming from the vb audio so far as you can see that the raising bar is getting from there only so just right click on the properties of that one and everything is normal listen everything is default levels is everything the normal 100 100 do not change it why because you are already using a no background noise filter so we just do not need to change any of the settings i'm just showing you and uh, you just need to change it if at all you have a good very good quality studio mic i mean like i'm having the blue yeti microphone so i change it for 16 bit uh, 48 hertz dvd quality by default you will be having the uh, 44 hertz okay you just need to change it for that one then after that click okay and both of them are set and i'm just opening my elgato game capture card app so that you can see here in the live commentary section you can see cable audio output this must be your output over here and uh, just uh, copy this settings i mean like 42 is my audio volume output after those settings i have showed you in the noise gate this is pretty good and sounds very awesome 
and my game audio game audio volume i kept it like 71 percent these are the settings for mine and i'll just show you the normal settings uh, what i use for elgato game capture card so first thing first the capture option i just uh, download i mean like record all the files to d not the windows drive do not select the windows path use some other drives and untick both the uh, enable flashback recording enable stream command i don't use them so untick them okay by while coming to sharing uh, if at all any all of them it's stick for all so just leave them alone um, main are this thing main file mp4 is the main and uh, i guess only this is the main why because it uh, converts your files directly to mp4 format this is main and uh, maximum number of simultaneous export it depends upon you uh, remaining all untick and uh, just tick this, all these three so that everything everything gets captured like webcam or live commentary audio that thing everything gets recorded over there so update you just need not bother about that automatically it updates hotkeys i do not prefer hotkeys and uh, advanced i just kept both of them for automatic intel hd i'm having a very good laptop so i don't prefer any of the settings i'm also having a nvidia graphic card i do not prefer i, I prefer running it on automatically it stabilizes automatically so by default you'll be having the highest quality i suggest you guys to put it in the best performance so that the quality will be good and the size of the file will be less so it'll be good for you while copying or something like that then after that close this one and while coming to the second setting game capture hd, HD 60 <coughs> and while coming to the capture first option i run it for playstation 4 i use it for playstation 4 uh, one thing I just want to tell you guys is that while uh, whenever you record the gameplay you can re record it in 1080p 60 frames but uh, while streaming you just need to put it on 720p 60 frames if at all you have a very good internet then you can stream it on 1080p 60 frames but uh, uh, so far we do not have a very good net services in India so we stream in 720p 60 frames is that really good so I suggest that one only so far and if you stream on 1080p 60 frames user get buffering issues i mean like they cannot watch your video live continuously so they'll be getting lag something like that and these are my settings for the capture and the next option is picture leave this all default audio is also default it's on minus 5 unlock audio gain is on minus 5 you can see this minus db so it's zero is center and it's something like the minus i haven't touched this one so you leave it default profile i don't use any profiles for this one just cancel that's it and while coming to the live streaming settings i prefer using only on 720p 60 frames per second and uh, it's uh it depends upon your service automatic privacy i'm uh, recording on my background so it's private category is gaming uh, and there is one more tip for you guys do not tick this one enable stream copy if you tick this one uh, you'll get uh, laggy streams or everything will be laggy and users cannot watch your stream continuously so i suggest you do not uh, uh, do not record the gameplay while streaming mm. okay then after that these are the settings for this one and you can elgato has a very good uh, features like you can directly stream for youtube twitch and facebook facebook is a good feature for elgato i think obs also having but uh, i do prefer from youtube only and after that these are the uh, game audio settings 71 live commentary is 42 and uh, see if at all you need to play any background music like copyright non-copyright music you can also play it in the background this depends on this one see if you if at all you play it on background it automatically pops up here capture from sound capture advance so you can also get uh, good music from your background and uh, this is for the video guys i hope you guys enjoy my video if you're having any doubts regarding this video or streaming while streaming if a video is getting laggy something like you can ask me you can please ask me questions i'll help you guys i hope you guys enjoy my video have a great day bye bye